I got that finish and then I thought I was okay here we go I, I got a good finish I, I'm possibly in the books then another finish another finish another finish like fuck what's going on but yeah man I'm super happy that we all got into the UFC it's it's awesome it, it only means one thing we, we put on a, a damn good show Mm -hmm. All right, well, big moment for you. Give, yeah. give us the emotion. What's, what's the feeling going through your head right now? Oh, man. I, I don't know if it's fully hit me yet, but I feel great. I still feel healthy, so it's just it's been a roller coaster. I mean, this, this past year, I had six fights. Um, been just moving from Montana down to Phoenix, meeting new people, coaches, training partners. It's just it's been a wild journey so far and just excited for more of it to come. We, we couldn't tell that you broke your foot. Did you know he did? I felt it in the moment of the shoot, I felt the foot. Right when I kicked him, I knew I had broken my foot. My game plan was to walk forward, pressure him against the cage. But when I broke my foot, I, I, I stepped down a little bit. He came and he pressed me against the cage, but I was really re relaxed. I let him do, like, use his strength. Uh, I, I was feeling his breathing. When I when I felt he was getting tired, I took him down. I took his back, and I even I even told him. I told him while the the choke was on. I said, I got you. I got you. This is this is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This is unreal. You know, uh, I'm usually sitting on my phone or laptop watching the interviews you guys do with the guys up here. You know, I started I started training when I was six, and uh, I started watching the UFC when I was around ten. You know, and uh, back in those days, like the Tito, Randy, Chuck days. You know, when it was just. Uh, it was a little more ruthless. It wasn't as professional. It was a little crazy. And that's what I wanted to do, you know? So to be up here as a real professional athlete now, contracted UFC fighter, like, this is um, unbelievable. You know, I was joking to my coach over there. I said, as a little kid, I was a Tito Ortiz fan. I said, I beat up Chuck Liddell over 200 times in my basement on the punching bag. And uh, now I'm a UFC fighter. This is unreal, man. It's a blessing. And I'm sure in a day or two, it's really going to set in. Yeah. Before I came out here, I had a mowing company. And I was actually pretty successful. I made about 60000 a year. And I just, you know what? I was just like, I'm tired of cutting grass and whooping ass in East Tennessee, you know, I want to go out there and see what the West Coast is about. And I just sold my company, and I went out on a limb, and it's starting to pay off, you know. I spoke into existence. Before I left, I said, watch, six months, give me six months, I'm going to make something happen. And I did.